You are welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss calculating the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, for example, example, we are asked to calculate the inverse of this matrix. A, which is equal to, we have 3, 2, 4, 4. Now, first of all, there is a formula for calculating what? The inverse of a matrix. Now, what is the formula? The formula for the inverse of A, which is written as A inverse, is equal to what? Is adjoint, adjoint of A divided by what? Determinant of A. Now, I want you to pay attention. Both adjoint and determinant are very easy to get, so it is not a problem at all. Now, let us go ahead and find what? The, the A inverse of A. Now, when you are asked to find the inverse of A, first of all, let's start with determinant of A. Now, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. The determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix is going to be what? This is your leading diagonal. This is the leading diagonal. This 3 and 4 is what? The leading diagonal. So, what do you do? 4 times 3. You are going to multiply them first. 4 times 3, which will give you what? 12 minus... 4 times 2, the other elements, 4 times 2. So your A determinant now is equal to 4 times 3 is 12, minus 4 times 2 is 8. At this point, if you are just joining me for the first time, please I think it's time for you to click on that uh, sub subscription button so that you don't forget. Yes, subscribe so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, okay? Then help me to comment, like, and share so that this video will be distributed more so that students that need it for their exam will be able to see it. Thank you so much. Now, if you if you are yet to understand what I did here when it comes to determinant, if you want a detailed tutorial on determinant of a matrix, check my other videos in this particular channel and you are going to get it there okay but in recap all you need is these are the elements of your leading diagonal you multiply them first this one three by four four by three minus you multiply this by this this by this so four by three is twelve minus four by two is eight now when you subtract them you are going to get four so it means that our determinant of a is four so we have gotten this now what we need is what? The adjoint of A. Now, what is adjoint of A? Adjoint of A is equal to... This is what? This is going to be a matrix. How do we get it? Your leading diagonal, again, is very important. So, this is your leading diagonal. What are you going to do? You are going to what? Exchange their position. The position of the elements of your leading diagonal. So, 4 is going to take the position of 3. And 3 is going to take the position of 4. So, let us do that. So, I will now write 4 in place of 3. And write 3 in place of 4. Then, for the other elements, these 2 and 4, we are going to change their signs. You know that when you look at this, you are not seeing any sign here. Meaning that this 2 is positive. Okay? So, because this 2 is positive, I will now write negative 2. Now, because this 4 is positive as well, I will now write negative 4. Stick to the end because I'm going to give an, another example that is going to be a bit different from this. So that you know how to apply how to use this formula also to solve the next um, example that I'm going to show. Okay, so please stick around to the end. Now, this is our adjoint of A. You see what I told you that it is easy. You are not doing anything here. All we did was to manipulate these numbers here. What did we do? We exchanged what? The positions of the leading elements of the leading diagonal. So 4 took the position of 3, 3 took the position of 4. That is what we have here, 4 and 3. The position we are exchanged. Now, 2 and 4, all we did was to change their sign. Initially, this 2 is minus 2, is plus 2. So we now wrote minus 2. Then this is 4, you now wrote minus 4. Okay, so we now, we can now find what our A inverse. Remember that our A inverse is what? Adjoint of A. Divided by what? The determinant of A. Now, what is adjoint of A? This. So, we are going to write it 4 minus 2, minus 4 and 3, divided by 
our determinant is four our determinant is four okay so how do you go about it this is same thing as one over four and with what multiplying four and minus two minus four and three this and this are the same we have not changed anything so we go ahead and solve what do we do we are going to use this one over four to multiply everything inside this matrix so it's going to be one over four times four for this one then one over four times two minus two for this then one over four times minus four for this and one over four times three so we go ahead to solve this and get the solution so let's do that here okay all right so let's bring out our a inverse now our a inverse is what four we divide four so what we have here is what one you have one then here minus two divides itself one if it divides four you're going to have minus what two so it's going to be minus one over two minus one over two then this one four we cancel four but remember there is minus here right so it means that what we are going to have here is minus one so you have minus one then for this is going to be three times one is three over what four because three cannot divide four without remainder now this is our a inverse i told you it's very easy now don't go stick around because i'm going to give a different question but it's still going to be what under inverse now what if we have negative sign here what if there is a negative sign here and there's another negative sign here okay how do you solve it it's still the same method you know that your a inverse you're asked to find a inverse of this you know that your a inverse is what adjoint of a divided by what determinant of a do you understand so what do you do all you need to do is this we are going to first of all let's find what the determinant of a as usual you are going to do what multiply the elements of your leading diagonal first so it's going to be three times six three times six which is 18 minus what minus two times minus five now listen minus two times minus five is same thing as ten yes because minus times minus will give you plus, okay? Then 5 times 5 will give you 10. So it's going to be plus 10. So we are going to have 18 minus 10, which will give us 8. So we have found what the determinant of A as what? 8. So we will go ahead and find what the adjoint of A. Remember that adjoint of A, you are not solving anything. All you are doing is to manipulate what? The elements of A. So A adjoint adjoint of a is equal to we are going to open our bracket so we are going to what change the interchange the position of three and six so six we take position of three and three we take the position of six now we are going to change what the signs of our the other diagonal so minus two becomes what plus two which there is no need for you to add the p plus and minus five becomes plus five so there's no need to add the plus. So this becomes our adjoint. I told you it was easy. So let's go ahead and find our A inverse. So our A inverse is our adjoint, which is six, two, five, three, right? Divided by our determinant, which is eight. Now this is same thing as one over eight into six, two, five, and three. So we go ahead and use this to multiply every element inside our matrix. So it's going to be what? A inverse is going to be what? 1 over 8 times 6 over 1. 1 over 8 times 2. 1 over 8 times 5. Sorry, this is 5. And 1 over 8 times what? 3. I use it to multiply each element 6, 2, 5, and 3. So we go ahead and what and solve. For here, 2 we divide 6 to give us 3, divide 8 to give us 4. So what we have here is what? 3 over 4. 3 over 4. Then 2 divide itself, 1 divide 8, you have 4. So what we are going to have here is 1 over 4. Then for here, 5 and 8, they are not, they cannot divide each other. So 5 times 1, you have 5. Over 8 times 1, you have 8. The same thing here, 3 times 1, you have 3, 1 times 8, you have 8. And this is our A inverse. 
very easy right thank you so much for watching i wish to see you some other time bye